Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to explore how to get some booleans from the intersection between curves, between B reps, and so. Here we have two curves, two planar curves, and this is very important because in order to get the Boolean intersection or Boolean difference or Boolean union of any two curves, they must be coplanar. And here we have two boxes and two spheres, and we want to get the unions, the difference or the intersection between those two geometries. Let's check this on Rhino Common. So as we seen before in the geometry, like uh, the BREP class, the curve class and so, we found the Boolean methods under these geometry classes. So if I don't want to head to geometry and search for the BREP class or so, I can just type here Boolean and then check the methods and then I'll learn from this line what Boolean uh, what the Boolean method is under so it's under Rhino the geometry dot BREP okay so if we want to see the curve Booleans we can check the curve dot Boolean difference and let's start that in the curve Boolean difference method it returns a curve a, a curve array and it needs a curve A, curve B and a tolerance. So let's try doing this with those two curves here. Uh, I've already added them and assigned them to the inputs. So let's start. Here we will type a new curve array that is called Boolean intersection and that will be equal to uh, to curve dot create boolean intersection and here we'll type curve a curve b and a tolerance let's say 0.001 and let's move this in the z direction in order to see this uh, boolean operation result clearly so we'll say boolean intersection and this is an array so we'll need the curve at the zero index which is the only curve existing in the array actually and that will we will we are going to transform this and we are going to transform dot translation in the 0, zero 010 in order just to see clearly what happens and then we'll assign the boolean in uh, intersection result to the a and if we hit run here we'll find the boolean intersection between the two curves of course in the intersection if we uh, change which curve comes first in our code it doesn't matter but but if we're creating instead of a boolean intersection let's create a boolean difference and let's call that bool diff and here also and here so what is the difference between those two curves here this is the difference between curve b which is this one and curve a and if we change the order of how you insert those curves, the result is different. And now finally, let's create a Boolean union instead of Boolean differences or Boolean intersection. Actually, the Boolean union works differently because it has something different let's see it create boolean union we'll find here that it takes instead of curve a and curve b individually you need to add them as a list of curves so instead of adding curve a and curve b we'll add our list of curves we've added here and we made it a list axis 
and still we have a problem let's see it in line 57 so let's start typing this again maybe that's the problem so we will add. so this is oh i'm sorry we, we created a boolean difference here instead of a boolean union so this should work actually yes and here is the union between those two curves that if we change of course it will change there if we change this to be like this we find it changing that's for the booleans of the curves what about the brips so i've created this box i added it as a brip called it brip a this one called it brip b and i created also a list of brips in order to add it to the boolean union method so how can we work this it's exactly actually the same as it works with curves but instead we need to find the brip method so if we go to brep.create boolean difference here it returns a brep array it takes the first brep the second brep and a tolerance okay let's try this so we're creating a brep array called boolean intersection let's start with the intersection and this will be equal to brep dot create boolean intersection and here we need to add the brep1 brep2 and the tolerance and i have to mention something here that you need to add a brep array as we've seen here so or no it, it just takes a, a, a an an item access in the boolean intersection so the name brep1 and brep2 don't exist because we call them brep a and brep b now this works but nothing is showing because we didn't assign it to any output and again we're going to transform so we'll say boolean intersection the element number zero in the array dot transform transform dot translation and this will be 0 0 and 10 and now we can output our boolean intersection to a and if we run this is the intersection and again if you interchange the brep a and brep b it's still the same but if we're creating a boolean difference this will be different and if we run so here is uh, i'm not actually changing the name okay because this is a variable name and it doesn't matter so i don't have to change it for the sake of teaching it's really important if you're writing a program to make it clear so you can name a boolean intersection and then make a difference intersection but just to shorten the video um here this is the boolean difference between the two B reps and if we change B A and B uh, and B rep B, this will give us the second option. If you want to make a union, in this case, instead of adding B rep A and B rep B, it's as the curve and it should take a list. And if we run this, it will give us the union between the two B reps. Okay so the boolean intersection this variable name let's just call it variable and here variable <coughs> if we run okay we, we can call our variable variable but we can if we start it with an underscore maybe this will work so if we run it okay no yep here here, here we didn't change the name so then now it works so uh, if i want to check this variable it gives me one closed brep but what if i want to get a face of this 
uh, close brep, I can use brep's methods and brep's properties in order to get some vertices or some faces or edges. Let's try faces. And here, if we say b equals variables dot faces and we added b here it will give me the faces of the b rep which are 12 trimmed surfaces and if we want actually to get a certain one we can add the index of this surface and if we add a surface here output we can see which one we're dealing with so if you want to get another face you can type one and it will give you the face downside or two and it will give you another face and three and four and so on okay that's it for the booleans i hope you find this video inter uh, you found this video interesting and you found it useful if you like the contents please like the video type comments with uh, what you think about these videos and subscribe to our channel thank you again and see you in another video